Hello and welcome to this Dr. Frost Maths key skill video on collecting light terms which are positive and without powers. Now often in algebra we want to simplify expressions and to simplify expressions just means to make them tidier. Often so it involves less stuff so it's easier to read and easier to deal with. Now terms are like terms if they involve the same variables and the same powers. So terms are like terms, and I'll tell you what I mean by a term in a second, if they involve the same variables, or so the same letters, and the same powers. In this particular video, we don't have to worry about powers because we don't have any powers, like squared, cubed, etc. So let's ignore that second bit for the moment. And by a term, each of these things are terms that we're adding together. Now let's look at what's like terms here. This is 2a, which means two lots of a, is there another term which involves just a? Well, yes, there is. So the 2a and the 5a are like terms, and we can collect those together, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. We've got three lots of b here, and then we've got another lot of b here. They're like terms because they both involve just b and no other letters. And then this 6 over here, that's known as a constant term because it doesn't have any variables. It has no letters in it. And we call that a constant term if it's just a number without any variables. Now, what some students like to do is they like to underline each of the things before they collect terms together. So underline each term. And if you have a plus or minus symbol, include that before the term. So it's plus 3b, plus b, plus 5a, plus 6. So each term, you include the plus or the minus before it. And that makes it slightly easier to then match stuff up that are like terms. So let's think the 2a, that's the like term here, the 5a, because they both involve a. So think about it, if we've got two lots of a, and we add five lots of a, in total, we have seven lots of a. So we're just adding the two and the five together. What about the b's? Well, we've got three lots of b here, and we're adding another lot of b here. In total, we've got four lots of b. So make sure you put the plus in the front. We've got positive four lots of b. And then finally, we've got this constant term here, the plus 6. Now, there's no other constant terms. It's not like we have a plus 1 somewhere or something. We've just got this plus 6 and nothing else that doesn't involve variables. So we just put the plus 6 on the end. And that is the final answer. That's as simple as we can get this expression. We can't, for example, combine these two terms together because they're not like terms. That involves A, that involves B. So we can't simplify that any further.